Ah, the sound of the ice cream truck. It takes me right back to my childhood. I remember when I used to run up to my mom and ask for some money for the truck and she'd say, no, we've got ice cream at home. It would really, really annoy me. But maybe that was for a good reason. Because in today's gacha, we learn that there's such thing as cursed ice cream. If you haven't already, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And now, let's get into the gacha and find out about this ice cream. Aw, this guy's so cute! Be gone, evil monsters! I will save the town! If you want to live, you still have a chance! Come on, Kari, it's time for your lunch! Oh, is this the ice cream truck? Mommy, when are we getting an ice cream? I told you, we're not getting ice cream this month. But all of my friends get to eat ice cream every week. Why can't I too? Corey, first of all, you don't have any friends. And second, ice cream is bad for your health. So we've learned that this mother is a savage because she just stated the obvious and said Corey has no friends. I feel kind of sad for him. And we've also learned that he can only eat ice cream once a month. Why? I don't know. Maybe all will be explained. Poor kid just wanted an ice cream. But wait a second, I can hear the ice cream truck again. What is he up to? Huh? What is that music? Feel like he's going to explore. This might be a bad idea. The music stopped. Oh, who's that? Did a girl just run through our yard? Yes, she sure did. Oh my gosh, she's at the window. If that happened to me, I would be terrified. She does look really cute though. Oh, where's he going? He's running away. Oh, he's going to say hello. He wants to be friends. And then he can turn around back to his mom and say, actually, you are wrong. I have one friend. Um, hi. Hello. Why are you in our front yard? My name is Juliet. Mommy told me that our new neighbor is a boy my age, so I came to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Cory. Say, Cory, what's your favorite food? Ice cream. I love ice cream. Oh my gosh, me too. Maybe we could ask our parents to take us out for ice cream together sometime. But my mama only allows me to eat ice cream once a month, so I can't have any more this month. Oh, I see. But it's okay. I hear there's an ice cream truck coming by this area very soon. It sells all kinds of different flavored ice creams. The prices are all pretty cheap, but it comes whenever it wants, so you don't want to miss it. This ice cream truck is sounding very suspicious. It comes whenever it wants. Surely, if this was a legitimate business, it would have a very strict schedule. But no, it just turns up out of the blue, nobody knows when, and serves mysterious ice creams. Juliet, have you tried one before? Why is she just staring at him like that? She's starting to creep me out. Yes, I have. Oh my gosh. He is reading the best book ever. It's One Punch Man. Oh, the sound of the ice cream truck again. Is he gonna go and check it out? What if it's the cheap ice cream truck with the cursed ice creams? We need to see it. Is that the sound of the ice cream truck coming? It is, it is. He's running so fast. He can't contain his excitement. Oh, he's grabbing some money off the side and he's ready to go. Hopefully his mum doesn't find out about this or he'll be in big trouble. I don't see it anywhere. I don't think I missed it and I can still hear the music. Wait. Is that? There it is! Okay, this is a very big ice cream truck. And there's nobody in the window. Um, hello? Nobody's replying. Wait a second, what is that? It's a hand! It just waved, that was so creepy. What flavor would you like? Hmm, if I was to get an ice cream right now, it would have to be mint chop chip. That is my favorite flavor ever. Let me know what flavor you like down in the comment section. I want chocolate flavor. A classic, you can't go wrong with chocolate. Okay, that will be 65 cents. Aw, too bad, I only have 50 cents. Ah, sorry, I don't think I can buy one right now. I didn't bring enough money, so I think I'm just gonna give up for now. No worries, I can just take what you have now. Oh, nice, they're giving him a little discount. Maybe he pays it back later and the ice cream truck is fine with that. Sounds like a good deal. I would take the ice cream. Can't do that. My mother is not going to be happy. Even though what I'm doing now won't exactly make her happy either. But I can't help it. I really want to eat ice cream. Well, I'll just go talk to my mother about it. Hopefully she might say it's cheap and come at night for half the price. Wait, that is a suspicious message. I would not be trusting that note one bit. Nighttime ice cream just sounds 
it's strange. It's different. It's very different. Yes, go to the shady ice cream truck at night time. I would not be trusting that. What? I can't possibly come at night. What, another note? What does this one say? 10 cents? Wow, that is a huge discount. 10 cents? I could buy five of these. Awesome. What is going on here? That was somebody stood on a stool. Is it a child pretending to be an adult? Also, why do the parents live in the Simpsons house? Like this is just actually the Simpsons. Here he comes wanting his cheap ice cream, but is mom gonna say yes? Mommy, daddy, can I talk to you? Yeah, of course. What is it, Corey? Before you get mad at me, I just wanted to say that I met our new neighbor yesterday. She's a girl about my age. She's really nice and pretty. She told me that there's an ice cream truck that sells so many cheap and yummy ice creams. So, can we please, please, please just buy it this once? Um, Cory, sweetie, nobody lives next door. Wait, what? Nobody actually lives next door. Does that mean that the little girl isn't real or is she a spirit? Either way, that's incredibly creepy. But that's impossible. I was talking to her yesterday and she just said she moved here. Corey, I don't think that's possible. The house next door to us is still under construction and it's been like that for three years. I'm starting to think that house has already been abandoned. But why would she lie to me? I thought she wanted to be friends with me. Maybe she wants to be more than friends with him. Maybe she wants to steal his soul. But did he get permission to buy ice cream at night? Because now it is night time and I have a feeling that the truck is gonna come by soon. He's fast asleep currently though. So would he wake up in time? Ah, here it is. The magical, mysterious and cursed ice cream truck. Huh? What the? Why am I out here? But this music, could it be the ice cream truck? Even if it is, I don't have any money on me right now. I should get back inside. Wait a second. I thought he walked outside. No, he was somehow teleported outside. That is very creepy. Unless he's sleepwalking and he didn't realize he just wants ice cream that bad. Okay, he's going to check it out, but I'm starting to get a bit scared for him, honestly. Is there going to be anyone at the window this time? Looks empty again. But we felt that last time and a mysterious hand popped out. What's happening? Um, hello? Is anybody there? Who's in the window? Wait a second, it's her, it's a neighbor. Or should I say, neighbor. Ha ha ha, I scared you, I scared you. Juliet? Hello, Cory. what are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. The truth is, I don't know how I got here either. What do you mean? I don't know how to explain. One second, I was at my house, and the other second, I ended up here. Feel like I got here without noticing. You were probably just sleepwalking. I don't sleepwalk. Anyways, what are you doing inside of the ice cream truck so late at night? Well, that's because I work here. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Wanna come in the ice cream truck too? Oh yeah, he does. He wants to try that out. His favorite thing is ice cream. So it's always been his dream to be inside of the ice cream truck. Oh, that's the stool that she was stood on. Whoa, it's kind of dark here. I can turn on more lights if you like. Oh no, it's fine. I don't really mind actually. Okay, you can sit down on the chair behind you. Hey, Cory, you've never been in an ice cream truck, have you? Juliet? Can I ask you a question? Sure, Cory. Why would you lie to me about being my new neighbor? Oh my goodness, he's really just out here trying to find truth. He doesn't care. He will straight up ask you. It's very blunt and I like it. I'm sorry about that. I thought that maybe if I lied to you about being your new neighbor, you would be friends with me. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. But it's very wrong to lie to people, unless you can offer them cheap ice cream. What? Even if you lived a hundred miles away from me, I would still be friends with you. You don't have to worry about that. Really? Of course. Then would you sacrifice five years of your time for me? Wait a second. What did she just say? Did she really just ask him to sacrifice five years of time? What does that even mean? If I was Corey, that would be an immediate no. I'm sorry, what was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, it was nothing. Anyways, want some ice cream? I do, but I didn't bring any money. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. Who says you need to pay for it? 
Chocolate flavor, right? I'll be right back. She was wearing the same outfit she wore two days ago. I wonder where her parents are. And I wonder how she got a driving license. How did she get an ice cream truck too? There are so many questions about this girl. Oh, she's crying. What's wrong? Is it because she got caught for lying? Okay, here's your midnight chocolate ice cream. Your hair tie came off. Don't worry about it. It just caught a hook when I was bending over. Your hair looks very pretty like this. Thank you. Hey, are you okay? Were you just crying? Don't worry, I'm fine. Here's your cone. I'll go play some music up front. Is that really a good idea in the middle of the night? Wouldn't that wake everybody up? Oh, what's going on? They're having a little bit of an ice cream party now. Juliet, are you not going to have some? No, it's okay. I've had tons already. Oh, I see. By the way, this music that you're playing is so cheerful. It reminds me of such happy memories. I remember when we go on road trips, Mummy and Daddy used to play happy songs on the radio and we would all sing together. I'm sure you also have memories like that. Right, Juliet? Wait a second, who's this? What is going on? A man with a tote bag? That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. You know, Juliet, Juliet, maybe someday both of our families could meet. You know, not to eat ice cream, but to make memories. Wait, you can make ice cream memories together as a family. I've had plenty of ice cream memories with my family. Even if you say that now, there's no way that's possible. I know you're going to hate me for this. Hey, Juliet, calm down. What's with you all of a sudden? Juliet has something to hide. I know it. You know, if you need anything, you can just ask. Oh, she is way too trusting of him. What is going on? Did she drug the ice cream? Help! What's happening? Why do I feel so lightheaded? My whole body hurts. Please, Juliet. I can't stand anymore. I'm sorry. I know you would never be able to forgive me for this, but I have to. You're the only one who can free me. What in the world does that mean? Juliet! Whoa, that art was so cool. It was giving strong anime vibes and I'm here for it. I hope we can meet again someday. Good luck, Kari. Oh, he's okay. He's waking up. Everything seems fine for now. But where did Juliet go? Weird. What am I doing here? Wait, what happened yesterday? Did I faint? Where's Juliet? I need to get back home or mummy and daddy will be so mad. Yeah, he's been gone for hours, like a whole night. It's a sunny day. Where is Corey? Do you think maybe he ran away because I only let him eat ice cream once a month? Yes, that's definitely the reason why he ran away. Well, actually, kind of is the reason he's gone missing. He wanted more ice cream. I swear I will let you eat as much ice cream as you want. Just come back, Corey. Now, now, it's gonna be all right. He'll come home soon. Mummy, daddy. I'm home! Wait a second. Why are they not reacting? Do you think he'll come back soon? He's literally next to you. What do you mean? Of course. I'm sure he'll be back today. He is back. He's back right now. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm right here. Can't you see me? How about let's head in first. I'll make you some coffee. No, please wait. I'm here. Don't leave me alone out here. Oh no, it's like he's invisible to his parents. They can't see him. What was in the ice cream? An invisibility potion? Okay, what's this? A note. What does it say? Dear Kari, if you're reading this, it means that your body has been trapped in this very ice cream truck. When you leave this truck, only your soul leaves. Nobody else can see you. So until you find your next destined victim, you will be trapped in this truck. It took me five years to find mine, and it happened to be you. You see, I happened to be just like you. Ice cream was my life. I would beg my parents for ice cream all of the time. I was basically obsessed. But one day, this happened. I was tricked by the last victim. And here I was, not knowing what happened, and realized that nobody could see me. I am now 12 years old, but the time trapped in this truck, my body remained the same, which was why I resembled a seven-year-old girl. There will be more clues in this truck about how to locate your victim. It may take you short, it may take you long. Who really knows? I don't know exactly what was in the history behind this truck, or anything about it. I was merely just a victim. I am not asking for your forgiveness, but but I wish you luck and I hope to meet you again someday from Juliet. Oh my goodness, how could she do that to him? Corey was such a sweet little kid and now he's gone from being a victim to having to trap another person. So this next part of the story, it takes place four to five years later. Okay, I think this is Juliet at high school. What is she up to now? Is she just living a normal life? Juliet! 
Here you are. I thought we agreed that we'd have matching outfits today. Oh, sorry, I totally forgot. Well, I'm not surprised you do have a pretty bad memory after all. Anyways, Neo is looking for you. He is? Yup, he's waiting for you in front of your class. I'll see you later, Natty. Okay, well it seems that Juliet has just turned into a normal person. Hey, Neo! Ah, Juliet, you surprised me. Those are some plain clothes that you're wearing there. My washer is getting fixed this weekend. Thanks a lot for making me feel so much better. Now, now, I was just joking. So, uh, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? Isn't it normal that I want to talk to my girlfriend whenever I can? Oh, wow, she has a boyfriend. She's trying to catch up for lost time. Wait a second, who is this? It looks like Corey. Three months later, Juliet is in the bathroom, checking herself out. And I have a feeling that Corey is watching her, but she has no idea. You know, because he's invisible. Jeez, he is literally so cute. I wonder if he'll ever be single again. I highly doubt that any of us could stand a chance. Eh, he probably only has eyes for the pretty girls. Gah, I wish I could be pretty. Well, you aren't exactly not pretty either. Hey, that girl who just passed by. Isn't that Antonio's girlfriend? I wasn't paying attention, but probably. She has blonde hair, right? That's Juliet Wretch. Dan, she's so pretty and popular and all. I have a friend who has the same class as her. She told me that she's really stupid though and gets bad grades. If it weren't for her looks, she would have been a total loser. What a horrible thing to say about somebody. You can definitely tell those are the mean girls. Could you guys not talk about her like that? She may seem like that, but she's been through a lot, okay? You don't know her enough to judge her. Ah, this guy is having a hard time. Dude, it's the first day of senior year and you're already sitting alone here sighing. Aren't you supposed to meet up with Juliet? Well, dude, what's wrong? Just spill it out. Recently, I've been very troubled. I frequently feel chilly suddenly when I'm walking alone at night. Just a week before summer break ended, I received an unknown letter on my doormat. What? What does it say? It starts off with, Hello, Antonio. I noticed that you have a good relationship with Juliet. And then it goes on with some really specific information that only the two of us share. And the thing that disturbed me the most is when it mentioned something about Juliet. It said, I pity you for not knowing the truth about Juliet. Once you know the truth, you wouldn't want to see her ever again. Like seriously, it was so creepy. Who could have written that? Maybe it's Corey. I don't know how he's writing these notes as a ghost going to the post office, but he is. Corey is out for revenge. Are you literally stupid? No matter how I look at it, it was clearly written by somebody who is jealous. It could be either you or Juliet. I mean, there's lots of other people who have a crush on you and Juliet. You should have thought of that when you read it. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. But that doesn't explain why I get chills when I walk alone at night. Sorry, dude, I can't help you with that. Maybe it's a ghost. And maybe they're following you, trying to get revenge. So, Juliet, how is it with you and Neo? Yeah, did you guys meet up during the break? Or perhaps you guys spent every day together, doing who knows what? Natty, I am a human. Juliet, I know you're human, sheesh. You don't make sense sometimes. How about you? Did you do something fun with your boyfriend during the break? Ugh, no. He had to go to his grandma's because his grandma was in the hospital. He was basically there for one and a half months because his grandma was like 90 or something and she fractured her pelvis bones. He had to stay and take care of her until his parents came back from Australia. Oh, poor grandma. Is she okay now though? Juliet, I don't think anyone would be okay if they fractured their pelvis bones at the age of 90. Yeah, that's pretty true. Wait a second. That kid looks so much like her. I mean, oh, hey, Juliet, what's wrong? Juliet looks like she's just seeing a ghost. Maybe she did. Uh, Juliet? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I just suddenly thought of something. I gotta go. I'll see you guys during lunch, okay? Hey, Jul, wait. The person who just passed by, could it be Corey? Right? It's almost been five years. Thank gosh he found his way out. It makes sense that he probably wouldn't want to see me or talk to me anymore. But how did he end up in my school? And does that mean he's a freshman? Since I was 12 back then and he was eight, I think. It doesn't matter. I should still try to talk to him someday. I'll try. I wonder if she has anything to do with the person who trapped her in the truck. Cause I don't think it's a good idea to actually meet up with the person who trapped you in there for five years. There would probably be a lot of hard feelings. So like mentioned on our class agenda today, we will be now going into partner introductions. You may get up and find a partner or you could talk to the person next to you. Please don't be shy. We want everybody to feel comfortable in this classroom. Oh, hey. 
Yeah, she does not want to speak to you, buddy. That was awkward. Sheesh, I am very hurt by that. Hey, wanna? Oh, really? Uh, dude, excuse me. Shut up, I don't care. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be so rude a second ago. It happens when I'm super tired. Would you please forgive me? Of course, of course. You don't need to apologize, I understand. Anyway, my name is Hank. How about yours? Corey. Oh my goodness, Corey confirmed. And he's in the same school as Juliet. Aw, he seems so shy and innocent. Um, so what are we going to talk about? Um, Juliet, is there any reason why you're staring at that person? Oh, sorry, it's just that he's somebody I used to know. What do you mean, used to? Come on, let's go talk to him. Oh no, actually, I don't think I know him. He might have been someone else. Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey there, kids. We're all seniors. And we just came by to say hello to you. Hi. Anyway, boy, what's your name? Corey. Why? Oh, because my friend Jewel. Jules. I see Jules over there. Hey, Jules. Share some photos of your apples, please. What a terrible, terrible distraction. Ah, I'm sorry about my friend. Idiot. Did you really think I didn't recognize you? Your silky blonde hair and big blue eyes. I remember it. There is no way that I could forget you. There's no way that I could forget the person who I want to ruin so badly. Because you can't get out of my mind. Corey is here for revenge. And I like it. I can't believe I ran away. That was so embarrassing. But I felt so nervous when I stood face to face with him. He is just a kid. Well, I mean, I do feel guilty for what I did to him, but he's here now, which means everything is fine now. I still feel like I should apologize. No, I do have to. Ah, I swear, the same exact thing went through my mind earlier, but I just couldn't do it yet. Juliet, you suck. Hey, you don't suck, what are you talking about? Neo, where did you come from? I was actually at the rooftop too, but you seem to be having a hard time already, so I thought I'd just leave you alone. But I saw you ran away when you were talking to some freshmen, so I followed you. Does that make me weird? Of course not, you're too adorable to think like that. Can you guys not act all lovey-dovey when I'm here? I'm still single, you know. Oh my goodness, but her relationship is gonna come crumbling down. Here's Neo walking at night. Is he getting the chills again? There it is. The feeling that somebody is following me. But the good thing is that I have no chills this time. But still, who is following me? No, I need to sound chill. Maybe I can get them to stop following me. Hey, whoever you are, you can come out now. I know you've been following me the whole time. I was just giving you a chance before I get angry. Are they gonna reply though? Are they gonna come out? Doesn't look like it. Okay, if you don't come out, I will come to you. Let's see if they reveal themselves. Oh, it was Corey. Kinda had a feeling all along that it was though. Hey, weren't you the freshman that Juliet? I mean, from the rooftop today? Well, yeah. So who are you and why are you following me? But I wasn't following you. What do you mean? Quit acting dumb. I know that you were the one who wrote that letter. I don't know who you are, but you better stop this at once. I don't know what business you have with Juliet, but I need you to leave us alone. Do you want to know what she did to me? As much as I want to, I cannot. Huh? And why exactly is that? I don't need to know anything about her ex, okay? Ha! Excuse me? What makes you think I'm her ex? Is there something wrong with your head? I'm sorry. Whatever. Enjoy your precious time together while you still can. Bye, Neo. Hey! You can't just walk away like that. Alright, we're back with Juliet in school. Where are they? Oh, there they are. She's looking for her friends, I think. Oh, there's a lost cat. That is so sad. Hey guys, what are you talking about? Hey Jewel, we were just talking about something important. What is it and why do you guys seem so upset? It's about that freshman from the rooftop yesterday. What? Did you talk to him? Not me, he did. Neo, what did he say to you? I still have no idea who he is or what he was to you. But we figured it would be for the best if you stayed close to me. I think he wants to hurt you and I can't let that happen. Oh my gosh, I really need to apologize to him right now. No, Juliet, you need to stay close to Antonio. Who knows what could happen if you meet him like that? You're right, I'll do that. You don't have to tell us what happened between you guys, but we are always happy to listen, okay? Thanks, you guys are the best. 
and so I stayed close to Antonio as much as possible. We walk home together every night. We walk to school together every morning and we meet up as soon as class ends for us every day. But it made him realize how pathetic I am. I wrote so much in that letter, hoping to see him again. But now all I've been doing is avoiding him. He must be extremely disappointed in me. But what would happen if my friends found out? What would Neo think of me? I must keep this a secret or at least for now until I'm ready. Two weeks later. I'm sorry, but if I was her, I would be transferring schools and moving far, far away. Or I would go up to him and apologize. Either option is pretty good. All right, they're walking back at nighttime. Hey, Jewel. Yeah, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow after club ends, so I can't go home with you. Oh, it's all good. I think a day without you should be fine. Jewel, you're not going alone. I asked Miguel to take you home. But I don't wanna. I don't even know him that well. Don't worry, he's super nice. Plus, I told him if he lays a finger on you, you wouldn't live another day to see the moon. Wait, why the moon? Because I like moons. Jeez, you're so cute, Neo. Still can't beat your cuteness. Oh my, it's getting very romantic right now. She has a good thing going with Neo. Hopefully, Corey doesn't ruin it. Hey, huh? Oh, it's just you. Hey, what do you mean, just me? I'm taking you home today. You should be thanking me. Thank you, Mr. Miguel. Okay, darling, let's go home, shall we? If you want to live to see the moon again, I wouldn't do that. Wait, why the moon? Apparently, Antonio loves the moon. Whoa, Neo never told me that you were driving me home with this super nice sports car. Well, what do you think about it? I really love the smell of it. I've never been in a sports car before. Wait, the sports cars smell? I didn't know that, but now I kind of want to smell one. But sorry, I suddenly sound so hyped. Don't worry about it. Want to have a ride with me just around the area? Um, I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, it's gonna be fine. Sorry, I just feel like it's kind of cheating on Antonio, if you know what I mean. Ah, I see. Oh, you just got denied. That is so sad. But he doesn't need to know, does he? I mean, she's just driving in his car. There's, there's nothing weird going on. They're not cheating. They're just simply driving a car. Okay, bye. I'm walking walking home by myself. Wait, I was just joking though. Might never be able to see the moon again. Oh, this is a bad idea. She's having to walk alone. Um, may I ask, what are you doing? Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but I have a habit of sniffing trees. Could you not tell anyone about this? Hold on, why did I even follow him in the first place? Don't worry, you're not the only weird one. I love the smell of trash bags. Okay, that is much stranger than sniffing trees in my opinion. What? You're insanely weird. I was just joking about sniffing trees. Why would I do that, especially in school? Bye bye, you weird creep. He, he called me a weird creep. I really shouldn't have said that. Ugh, that guy is so annoying. He made me lose track of Juliet. Her boyfriend was with her the whole time. And now I finally have a chance. So Juliet is out at a restaurant. I stopped by to get an egg tart. I haven't had the chance to eat out for a whole two weeks. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Two hours later, she's just finished her food and it's getting dark. Shoot, dad is calling. Dad, don't worry, I'm coming home right now. I didn't realize I spent two hours here. I was there for only two hours. Two hours? How is it already completely dark outside? Oh my goodness, Corey is here. This might get a bit dramatic. Hello, aren't you one of those seniors that came to say hi to us during the first day? Um, yeah, that was me. Sorry about that day. That was really rude of me. Oh, no big deal. We weren't troubled by that. Haha. <laughs> he still doesn't seem to recognize me. Should I just tell him honestly right now? I highly doubt that there'll be another better chance. But wait, according to Neo, Corey already knows who I am. So Juliet, when are you going to stop pretending that you don't know me? Corey, I've been meaning to apologize for so long, but I couldn't just bring myself to do it. I'm deeply sorry for betraying you that day. I wish there was a way for us both to not get into that situation. But that was the only way, and I didn't want to be alone forever. I know all that. You mentioned it in the letter. If so, then, you want to know why I'm so pissed? My mother is dead because of this. Oh my gosh. Things have got extremely dramatic. I can't believe his mom died. You were the first friend I ever made. I was so happy I finally made a new friend. I thought we were going to have so much fun together. But who knew? You only became friends with me just to take advantage of me. I returned to my home to see my mother crying while my dad embraced her. And days later, my mother passed away. I was there with her, but she couldn't see me. I'm so sorry, Corey. I would do anything if I could make it up to you. Oh yeah? If you really want to make it up to me, then you should make your boyfriend into a ghost. What? You know, I would never do that. And I guess I'll have to do it myself. 
No, if you hurt him, I will never forgive you. I've already apologized and nothing I can do will change what's already happened. If you ever try anything to hurt him, I won't hesitate to call the cops on you. Hmm, finally showing your true nature, huh? Sorry, I just can't let you hurt him. Whatever, I won't be bothering you again. Really? He's just walking away? I'm surprised, I thought you wanted more revenge. After all of that, I realized how pointless it was. Ruining her wouldn't make me happier. It was all in the past after all. Besides, she's not the one to blame for the fact that I had an ice cream addiction. So in the end, it looked like Corey had finally forgiven her. But my question is, who did he trap in the ice cream van? Anyway, that is the end of this gacha. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. And if you want to see another video from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.